The undersea cleaning spree. The sea is such a wondrous place with forests, reefs, and caves. There are countless creatures living in a world beneath the waves. The water is their haven. It's the only home they know, while the up is somewhere unexplored, where most will never go. One night, when Blub the octopus was sleeping in her bed, she was woken by a stranger who had landed on her head. Hello, said Blub. You must be new. I've not seen you around. But the fish refused to answer her. It didn't make a sound. As days went by, more strangers came who also didn't talk. They were drifting down but didn't seem to scuttle, swim, or walk. It wasn't long before they started getting in the way, causing harm to all the creatures as they tried to swim and play. Blob wanted to be friendly so she greeted those she found, but a manta ray called Manti swam up next to her and frowned. Whoever are you talking to? she asked. There's no one there. It's these fish, said Blub. They're new here, but they only sit and stare. These things aren't fish, said Manti. They've just fallen from the up. They are human things with silly names like bottle, bag, and cup dot. But don't the humans need them, wondered Blub, a bit confused, and they hatched a plan to send them back to where they could be used. The up was quite a scary place, but Blub was feeling brave, so she swam towards the surface, where she bobbed upon a wave. She then began to throw things, first with one arm, then with eight. Having lots of arms for throwing was a really useful trait. Let's dive back down, said Manti, and collect up even more. So they gathered lots of objects and returned them to the shore. It wasn't long till other creatures started cleaning too, from across the seas and oceans, from the Arctic to Peru. The creatures threw some items, then some others, then some more, and created many massive piles of rubbish on the shore. The humans moaned and grumbled as the clutter clogged their space. We should throw it back to sea, said one. This mess is a disgrace. A little boy saw Blub and all the creatures in the bay. It's not fair, he said. If we don't want this rubbish, why would they? He stood upon a rock and then began to make a speech. We should really find a better way to tidy up the beach. The people soon took action as his plea was understood, and they sorted all the rubbish to reuse the bits they could. They quickly worked together till the beach was litter-free, so the things no longer needed wouldn't end up in the sea. When all the waste had gone, the humans gathered by the shore, and they promised that the things they used would harm the sea no more. They tried to use less plastic and, instead, did all they could to use eco-friendly objects made from glass, bamboo, and wood. The creatures smiled and cheered because the ocean was now clean. It was safer and much nicer when their home was so pristine. The water is their haven. It's the only home they know, and the up's now full of people who protect what's down below. This is the end of the story. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe our channel. Bye.